good morning. Welcome to Caravan Escapades. I hope everybody's keeping safe and well. So you find us here at New Farm Holiday CL, uh, just I think it's about seven or eight miles north of Boston in Lincolnshire. So we're here for the bank holiday weekend. But what I want to do for you today is um, I've got myself a new electric grill plate. So as you guys know, in the past, and you've seen a vlog that we've done on this previously, we've been using the Camper Fry Up XL, um, which is fine, has been working fine and that sort of stuff. You know, it has a, a, a couple of small issues with it. Um, I think it's probably a little bit flimsy at times, but, but nothing too much. But it's been working perfectly fine. Um, but what I saw actually when I was at the NEC back in October, uh, which is quite a while ago now, so let me just put this away. So what I saw back at the NEC in October was the Outdoor Revolution Electric Grill, grill? Electric grill Plate. So that's the Outdoor Revolution Electric Grill Plate. But I didn't buy one until probably a month or so ago. Um, I just liked probably the look of it. It just seemed a little bit more robust. And I'll confirm the price, um, but I'm sure it was something like either $34.99 or $39.99. So I didn't think that was too reasonable. Um, it's a 2000 watt. It's actually dishwasher safe. It's 49 centimeters by 27 centimeters, and it's got a split grill plate. So you've kind of got the griddle and that sort of stuff. I've never opened this box before. I have seen one at the show, but it was a long, long time ago. So why don't we open it together and we'll see how we get on with it. So basically it comes in a box. There's your box. Let's just put that there. We'll dispose of that in a bit. Bit of foam. Or polystyrene, should I say. Got those back in the box, keep them together. There's an instruction book, probably won't read that. And I suspect this is the power lead and temperature controller in here. Oh, oh that's interesting. It actually comes with a Euro adapter as well. So I didn't know that. It's one of these kind of multi-plug adapters. So it comes with that. That's quite useful to know. I'll just put that to one side because we're not going to need that. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me just get out the camper version. So if we just kind of compare the two, we can kind of look a bit like for like here. So the camper version was probably about the same size, if I remember rightly. The Outdoor Revolution has got a larger um, grill area. And let's just put that out of the way. I mean, they look identical, but we can confirm that anyway. So let's just turn this round, turn this round for you. So you can see there that the Outdoor Revolution is larger. It just seems a little bit better constructed. So we've got this grill tray, sorry, not grill tray, drip tray. So you've got that one in there. It seems a little bit fiddly, but that's probably me because it's the first time I've done it. Yeah, I think it's just me the first time. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So probably me just first time. And then, so that was quite large. In fact, let's take that out again. We've got that compared to this one on the camper. Um, again, a little bit more robust. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit fiddly, so that would be my probably one of the down points on this one. I might, is it because I'm trying to do it on its edge? It just seems a little bit fiddly to get in. It may just be on this one model. There we go. Yeah, I think you've just got to get it lined up. I think I was probably going in too high. So that's that one on that, and then the camper one on there. But you can see with the bottom of the camper, it's quite tinny um, compared to this one. Okay, that's quite tinny as well, but there's more of this sort of frame construction there. I think a little less likely to get damaged, that sort of thing. Um, let's take a look. I'm sure these are almost identical. If we take a look at the 
power controllers, you know what, these come out of the same factory. I'm pretty damn sure of that. You know, you tell me that they don't come out of the same Chinese factory. That's the Outdoor Revolution. That's the um, Camper one. They are literally identical. So let's put this camper to one side for now. Um, now, these controllers, these are thermostatically controlled. They have an element in there, it's like a biometallic strip. When it gets to temperature, it clicks in and out. So you would normally have that obviously down low to start with. Um, and what you do is you basically got this big pin, two receptacles in there, big pin, two receptacles, and just kind of drop it in like that. And then set that up. Now, these only ever come with very short leads, even the camper one does. Um, I guess that's for a safety reason, cost saving, that sort of stuff. I guess with electric drill, you don't want lots of um, cable being pulled out, that sort of stuff. It's two kilowatt as well, so it's pulling quite a bit of power. Um, now, whenever you're cooking outside with mains electric, um, or using appliances outside mains electric, if you can plug straight into the caravan from the appliance, fine. Um, often with short leads like that, you can't. So. I've seen people use kind of normal domestic extension leads. Um, that's fine, but please think about how you use those outside. I always, always use something like this, which is an IP rated box. I mean, the grass has been wet here this morning. Um, if you had a normal sort of domestic extension lead on there with a mains plug in there, it's gonna get wet, it's gonna get damp, that sort of thing. So basically with this type of box, what you do is you have, um, you have a connector that has a normal, um, basically four-way extension lead in there. You bring the mains lead in through there. You basically take, I'll just put this forward again. You basically take the plug of the appliance that you want to plug in. You drop the cables in there like so, and just kind of nip them in with the little thing there. Let's put this one through the middle, doesn't really matter, but. So let's put that through there, it's a bit stiff, and then you have this clip that goes over the top, it basically just slides down, if he gets it right, so it just slides down and then locks in place, and then you just close the lid off, so that's all IP rated and sealed. So, quick look at the instruction box, after instruction book, instruction leaflet, as I've set it up. Um, probably doesn't tell me a great deal. I can't read it very well. Um, just about switching on, grilling tips, best results, preheat the cooking plate before grilling. Right, let's go and get some bacon and bits and let's start doing some cooking. So I pre-warmed the um, Outdoor Revolution hot plate. Is that what's it called again? Electric, just an electric grill plate, so it's called an electric grill plate. Um, what we also have is we tend to have some of these little pans. Um, I've also got the little Kadak, I think they call them paella dishes. I think for us it just helps kind of separate a few bits off. Claire likes her mushrooms, so I pre-warmed that. What we'll do is we'll stick that on there. I'll get the bacon and the eggs on the go and then we'll come back to you in a minute. So those mushrooms are starting to cook up nicely now. So let's get up, oh, there's one escaping. And another one escaping. So they're starting to cook up nicely. Let's start getting some of this bacon on. So I think what I'll do is I'll put this bacon on the other side. Oh. Had to go and get something sharp to open the packet. So let's get at least one packet of bacon on the go. I bet you wish you had smelly vision. This does smell really nice. I mean, I've probably got this a little too hot now, so let's turn that down a little bit. Get that in there. Give these mushrooms a bit of a stir. Let's get an egg cracked into here. Let's 
And I think you can see this is the advantage of using those kind of little pans. You could, and I have in the past, put the mushrooms and the egg and everything all on the same plate. Um, but I think it just keeps it a little bit more separated. Let's see if we can do this without breaking the yolk. Yay! So that's done. Oh no, I think the yolk has just very slightly gone. So let's give this bacon a bit of a turnover. This is all cooking nicely. And we'll come back to you in a bit. So it's all coming along nicely. We've got extra bacon on here now. All these sorts of bits. So yeah, it's cooking reasonably well. It doesn't seem to be cooking too slowly. Um, seems to be cooking relatively evenly. The thermostat keeps kicking in and out. It's making a bit of a mess, but what we shall see, I do like this big drip tray though, where all the juices and the fat and everything's dropping into. But what we'll do is once we've finished cooking and we've eaten it, of course, um, I'll come back and we'll look how we clean it up. So I think the breakfast is nearly ready. So far, so good. Um, doesn't work any differently than the camper fryer pack cell. Uh, I think it's just, I, I just like that extra robustness of it and that slightly bigger um, grill plate. I know you can get a big massive camper, but that kind of storage, it takes up about the same sort of space. Um, but it just, just seems that little bit better. So we'll have our breakfast and then we'll come back and we'll see how easy it cleans up. So we've just had an absolutely lovely breakfast, um, I've had the bacon and egg, Claire's had bacon and mushrooms and Darcy May's had a good old bacon sandwich, really really enjoyed that with a bit of brown sauce of course. So right, let's give this a go at cleaning up. So it is cool now, uh, it has cooled down, what I'd probably do initially, and this is probably how I'd, not probably, this is how I would have cleaned the camper up, is basically take some kitchen towel and literally just try and get the excess fat and then push bits into that hole there it's actually you see the burnt on stuff even just with a kitchen towel just seems to be brushing away so the on stick surface is obviously relatively good i don't know that the kitchen towel is soaking up the fat particularly well um, let's just dispose of that in the bin So what I've used previously as well on the, um, the camper and also the Kadak is these kind of, you know, surface wipes, these kitchen wipes, get a few of those, find that you can use these as well when it starts to get hot, um, if you need to key in the Kadak when it's hot, I'll just give this a kind of rub down, this is coming up quite easy to be honest, uh, it doesn't look too difficult, let's brush bits into this pocket here. Yeah, quite pleased. There's not real effort in here to sort of clean this up. What we've got as well is we've kind of had fat splatter, I think from the bacon and stuff like that, so that's kind of gone in fat. What I should have done first, big mistake actually, is disconnect it before cleaning it. Uh, so I definitely should have done that. But as it said, it does say it's machine, machine wash, what am I talking about? It does say that it is, um, what did it say? Dishwasher safe. So whether it comes apart, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's get some towel just to dry that off. So I'm quite pleased with the way that's cleaned up. Let's have a look at the tray. It seems to be quite a bit in the tray. Let's make sure we get that out without spinning it. Yeah, I don't know how you can see that or how well you can see that uh, there's quite a bit there in the tray so what i'll do is we'll get that soaked up with some kitchen towel before it goes into the bin a lot of it's probably just the water from the bacon the fatty water so we get that all soaked up in that paper there before we put that in the bin Oh, 
you know what, I'm going to have to have a look into that, how you um, stick this through the dishwasher. Maybe put the whole thing in. I mean, you know, it is just kind of a straightforward heating element electrical plate. I'm guessing as long as it's dried off properly. Um, but it does just set it does set on the box. Let me just double check. Where did we read that? Yeah, uh, yeah, dishwasher safe. Um, I don't know whether you can see, you probably can't see that. Maybe I'll try and zoom in, but it does say dishwasher safe. So um, I'll have a look at the instructions. Probably that'll tell me how you dishwasher it. But maybe you do, maybe you do just put it in the dishwasher. That's kind of soaked up most of that. At least soaking the fat up that way, that helps, uh, well, prevents it from going down the water course, down through the wastewater. Let's dry off. I say dry off, let's attempt to clean this further with these wipes. Get the last bits out. I mean, you could, for ease, just stick this um, in a bowl of soapy water and wash it down, or when you get back home, stick it in the dishwasher. So, that's it all cleaned up. Um, I think, as you agree, that's cleaned up quite well. Relatively effortlessly free, or relatively effortlessly easy. So it was relatively easy to clean without too much effort. The tray's wiped out okay. Let's slide that back in there. Still, that's the, yeah, that's got it. I think it's just getting it lined up right with that little tray. So there we go. Um, let's just undo the electric. Um, what I'll do, because it did get a little bit splashy and greasy on there. Let's give that a rub down, clean that off. So that was the camper, sorry, what am I saying, the camper one was the old one. That is the Outdoor Revolution electric grill plate. Um, do you know what, I think it's my new go-to grill plate, I'll certainly be using it um, instead of the camper, so I need to probably sell the camper or keep it as a spare. It's just that little bit better, it does the same sort of job, I think there's a little bit more space on there, it's nice to have the griddle plate and the smooth where on the camper it's all just flat and for the money I don't think it's a bad investment um, we still use the Kadak, we use the Kadak all the time but I think sometimes just for weekends just to get the hot plate out just to cooking outside uh, is an ideal way to go so I'll leave links below certainly for the camper I'll see if I can dig out a link for the electrical IP rated box um, just for that safety that sort of stuff um, yeah and that's it let me know what you think, let me know what you use as an electric grill. Thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed that. Please give us a thumbs up because those thumbs up really, really do help the channel. Um, and we'll see you soon, so don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one.